Hello guys, today we're gonna rebuild this AOD transmission. This is a Ford automatic 4 speed transmission with an overdrive. Okay, let's go. Okay, start by removing the neutral switch. Okay, then remove the 6 bolt of the tail housing. Then remove the tail housing on the output shaft. Remove the stamp ring returning the governor. Then remove the governor. And the ball. Okay. Remove all the oil pan bolts. <coughs> then remove the oil pan. Okay. Remove all the bolts on the valve body and carefully slide the valve body out of the tranny. Remove the accumulator snap ring. The cover. The spring and the piston okay remove the low reverse low reverse servo snap ring the cover and extract the reverse servo piston and the spring okay compress the overdrive servo cover remove the snap ring Carefully release the compressor and then remove the cover and the spring. Okay, the overdrive piston is in the cover. Remove the 3 4 accumulator snap ring. Remove the piston, the cover, okay, cover and the piston. On the internal linkage, remove the throttle tension tension spring, okay. Then remove the nut. Okay, remove the pin, okay, then you can slide out the manual, the manual lever, 
le throttle lever, the nut, and the parking linkage. At the rear of the tranny, remove the parking pole shaft and the parking pole and the spring. At the front of the tranny, remove the direct shaft. Okay. Then remove the 7 bolt returning the front pump. Okay. Two holes of the front pump are threaded so you can use a slide hammer or an extractor to extract the front pump. Okay. Okay, I use an extractor to extract the front pump. And carefully extract the front pump. On the front pump, remove the intermediate clutch spring retainer. Okay, and piston. Okay. Remove the five screws. Okay, and remove the stator. And here there is the driven and the drive gear, gear, the driven and the drive gear of the pump. Okay. On the pump housing, we're gonna replace the bushing and the seal. Okay. On the stator, we're gonna replace the metal clad seal, so you can see one metal clad seed is broken okay so to replace them okay and do that for this for the other remove the intermediate clutch and the overdrive band wow Remove the intermediate clutch pack. Okay. The reverse drum. On the reverse clutch drum, remove the washer. Remove the snap ring. Okay. Then remove the discs. Oh. Okay, and the pressure plate. Okay, remove the waved snap ring. Okay, then remove the Belleville spring. The trust spring, then oh. a piece of seal and and to extract the piston, you can apply air pressure 
in this hole here. And okay, and you can see the seal is damaged. Okay, on the other side of the drum. On the other side of the drum, there is the intermediate one-way clutch, so extract the snap ring, the returning plate, the outer race, okay, and the one-way clutch, roller and springs. Okay. On the forward clutch. the forward clutch remove the selective snap ring then remove the discs on the forward clutch I use this summit tool to compress the spring like this and extract the snap ring, the retainer and the springs. Okay. Extract the snap ring. Okay. Carefully release the spring. Okay. You can now extract the retainer, the spring, and the piston. Okay, remove the old seal, outer seal, and the inner seal. Okay. Inside the trunny, remove the forward clutch hub and the needle bearing. Okay. Remove the needle bearing here, okay. Remove the shell from the trainee, okay. With the needle bearing here, remove the center support returning ring. Okay. Inside the tranny, there's an anti-clunk spring. Remove this from the tranny. Remove the forward sun gear. Then remove the center support and the planetary carrier assembly. Okay. okay. Remove the center support. And the one way clutch inside the tranny, remove the direct clutch hub. Okay, and pull out oh. the band, the reverse band, and Pull out the output shaft with the direct clutch. Oh. Okay. And remove the needle bearing. On the output shaft, remove the metal clad seal. We're gonna replace them and okay, remove the snap ring. And lift up the output shaft. Okay. 
we're gonna repress the two teflon seal yeah okay remove the needle bearing and the direct clutch okay okay there is a spacer and a needle bearing on the direct clutch remove the snap ring then remove the the clutch pack remove the pressure plate and the clutch pack using a spring compressor as the forward clutch compress the spring to remove the snap ring ok, then carefully release the spring compressor Okay. Then remove the spring retainer, the spring, and the piston. Then remove. Then remove the old seal, and also in the drum. Okay. Now you have finished the disassembling of the trainee, you can now clean all the parts and the case before reassemble the trainee. Okay? We do that on the next video. Thank you.